Why is a time trial bike faster than a road bike? To many, the time trial is the purest form of bike racing. One rider in their bike against the clock. As you would expect, this unique discipline requires a specific type of bike. One optimized for speed above all else, and one that differs significantly from a standard road bike. The speed you go on a bike is determined by the power you can produce and wind resistance, otherwise known as drag. Drag is the product of an object's drag coefficient, or its slipperiness, and its size. Most importantly, its frontal area. For cyclists, that's us on a bike. If we can shape ourselves and our bike to be more aerodynamic and minimize drag, we'll go faster. Simple, right? So pretty much every aspect of a time trial bike is designed to reduce its resistance through the air. Let's take a look at some of them. Geometry. TT bikes have a more aggressive geometry than a standard road bike. TT bikes have steeper seat tubes to get the rider as far over the pedals as possible for better power transfer and shorter head tubes to get you as low as possible on the bike. Aero bars. Aero or tri bars are the long forward facing extensions on the front of the bike, which enable the rider to adopt a highly aerodynamic tuck position. Adopting a tuck over riding upright is one of the most advantageous aspects of a time trial bike and has been shown to save up to 122 seconds over a 40 km time trial. Aerodynamic tubing. TT bike frames will utilize deeper tubing and airfoil inspired shaping for improved aerodynamics. This increases weight, but the aerodynamics of a TT frame alone can save up to 20 seconds over a 40 km time trial over a standard road bike. Deep section wheels. Carbon wheels with deep rims better deflect air around the wheels for improved aerodynamics, and a deep section front wheel can save up to 42 seconds over a 40 km course compared to a standard one. So that's the bike itself, but what about the cyclist? It's important to bear in mind that the bike only accounts for around 20% of the total aerodynamic drag. The most important factor by far is the cyclist. As we've said, if we can reduce the drag coefficient of the cyclist, then we'll reduce the overall drag. That means decreasing the frontal area and making the cyclist more slippery. Dialing in the optimum body position is a dark art that all pros invest significant time and money into achieving because it matters. A so-called tuned wind tunnel tuck has been shown to save 56 seconds over a 40 km time trial over a normal tuck. The key for any rider tuning their tuck is to optimize the body position to reduce the drag coefficient and frontal area while not putting yourself in such an uncomfortable position that power is sacrificed. Easier said than done. Equipment can also make a significant difference when it comes to time trialing. Time trialists wear aerodynamic helmets shaped like teardrops to smooth airflow and reduce drag. Yeah, sure, they look terrible, but boy, do they make you faster. An Aero TT helmet can save up to 67 seconds over a standard road helmet over 40 kilometers. And what about clothing? Skin suits use special fabrics to manipulate the airflow over the body to reduce drag. Compared to a standard road jersey and bib shorts, time savings are massive. Anything up to two minutes could be saved over 40 kilometers by wearing a proper skin suit. In summary, time trialing is all about improving aerodynamics. From the bike to the cyclist to the equipment, everything must be as aerodynamically optimized as possible to go as fast as possible. Got any tips to go faster? Let us know.